the problem we have right now in the United States and really all over the world um, is that you can get heroin 24 hours a day delivered to your doorstep. Uh, and it can take weeks to months to get in to see a medical provider who's able to prescribe buprenorphine. Those with opioid use disorder who want to quit can now utilize medication-assisted treatment instead of quitting cold turkey. MAT can be a controversial topic, however, there's a lot of evidence that MAT programs lead to positive outcomes, including saving lives. Hi, I'm Bill Mance with Jackson County Close-Up, and we're here today with Dr. John Mann, and John is the Psychiatric Medical Director and Addictionologist here at Jackson County Mental Health, and he's here today to talk about an important and fascinating details about the medication-assisted treatment programs here at your Jackson County Health and Human Services Department. Thank you so much for joining us today. It's a pleasure, thanks. So what is medication-assisted treatment, MAT, as it relates to opioid use disorder? There's currently uh, three medications, um, three general medications that are approved by the FDA for treatment of opioid use disorder and they all fall under the category of medication assisted treatment for opioid use disorder. They include uh, buprenorphine or in combination which is more and more common these days with uh, an opioid antagonist called naloxone uh, and that comes under the brand name Suboxone. Some people are more familiar with that term and a large percentage of um, the MAT, as some people might call it, is being delivered more and more uh, with buprenorphine combinations. There's also methadone you're probably aware of, and that's only available in the United States through opioid treatment programs. And then the third medication or category of medications are the pure antagonists. Now Trexone is the one we have in the United States, FDA approved. That's available either as an oral medication uh, or as uh, once a month long-acting injectable med medications. Some people may, may be more familiar with the brand name Vivitrol. What are some of the practical changes that you see happen in people's lives as they take part in that program? Probably the first thing is, you know, self-esteem starts to increase, um, sense of self-efficacy that they can make some changes in their life. Most of my patients do end up getting back into employment, frankly, much sooner than I think, than I would expect often. I think that um, getting them started on medication assisted treatment can be a route into treatment. For a lot of people, you know, who haven't responded yet to outreach efforts to start with a traditional alcohol and drug treatment program, is often it's because that's, that's been a barrier for them and getting them started on, on a medication assisted treatment is often the first step to then getting them to be to a point where they can even start to think about, you know, what this means. Once people know, okay, my withdrawal is treated, I'm not going to go through withdrawal, my cravings are treated, I think I have the headspace now where I can focus on changing my life. Tell me a little bit about the pilot program, how long, and, and what you've seen so far. The new pilot program is called the Community Bridge Medical Clinic, and um, we launched that uh, as a resource for people not already here for mental health. Um, but for people who are actually accessing our syringe exchange program, they were referring a lot of people for treatment, but uh, there were many, some who would go to treatment and then many who didn't. And so we really wanted to start a low barrier clinic. So a clinic that's easy to access. So we developed a streamlined um, intake form. People can, who are referred from syringe exchange can walk up um, with no prior appointment and, you know, see uh, first my nurse and then myself um, for evaluation and leave the same day uh, on having been induced on to buprenorphine. Um, so that's the, that's the goal. That's what we really want. This is a disorder that needs treatment when you can get it. The problem we have right now in the United States and really all over the world um, is that you can get heroin 24 hours a day delivered to your doorstep. Uh, and it can take weeks to months to get in to see a medical provider who's able to prescribe buprenorphine. We're not going to get a handle on the opioid epidemic until that ratio is reversed or at least equal. Mm -hmm.